Hi guys, it's Dom. In this short video, I wanted to talk to you about something that I had never made the connection for. And it's one of the most, I think, damaging things we can do to ourselves, one of the most damaging things that healthcare professionals can do to us. And it's really a psychological bias. And I'm going to tell you more about that now. At the end of the video, I'll hopefully give you some tips and tricks to possibly combat this because we're all guilty of it. But before we start, I just want to say thank you to all my Patreon subscribers. We are a community. I don't take any money from anybody to do this channel. I certainly don't take money from Pharma. And I fund most of it myself with the really kind help of some people. But I do need a little bit more help or I won't be able to continue to go on in this way. I'll put all the Patreon links in the bottom of the video in the description. If you can support me on Patreon, I'd be really, really grateful. Uh, the last thing I bought was a tripod before I went to Milan, for example. So not super exciting, but things you need to get. Anyway, on with the video. Who's heard of hyperbolic discounting? I had long ago because it had an impact on a degree I was doing, but let me just read you the book definition. I'm just going to get it up on my screen here. Hyperbolic discounting is a psychological bias where people prioritize immediate rewards and satisfaction over future rewards. Now, why is this important to MS? It's important to MS. Let me just close this window. It's important to MS because it is still the case that people are treated with low efficacy drugs. And this is where the bias of the healthcare professionals comes in. And I think they transmit it to us, the patients. And let me put this simply. Who wouldn't want the least risky sounding option? Me, many doctors, you, I imagine. But I don't think many people have had it put in the correct context. And the correct context being what's likely to happen to you with your MS over time. Because MS tends to be treated as a chronic condition from the get-go. Whereas certainly in the early stages, it's acute. That's the time to intervene to prevent further brain damage, hopefully to slow down or stop disability. The drugs we have now outstrip the attitudes of some people. Um, hyperbolic discounting, if you think about it in, in consumer terms, uh, People will do irrational things to get a reward. And that means you'll stick another 10 pounds or $10 or 10 euros, whatever, in your cart, in your online cart to get the free delivery when you actually didn't need that 10 pound item, but it's the free delivery. So it's making an essentially an irrational decision if you look at it in the cold light of day. And that's what MS meds are like. There's some MS meds out there like beta interferon, for example, or capaxone, that people still get offered. And they're perfectly valid. I had beta interferon, but I've had MS 31 years, and that was my first of five DMTs. But beta interferon looks really like a good bet on paper from a side effect point of view. But really, knowledge has moved on. And there is so much evidence to say if you treat MS hard and early, effectively and early, that has the biggest impact on your long-term disability. So if you think about it, you are trying to medicate for 20 years time. It's a tough concept. You know, who doesn't want the now? I want the now. Everybody wants the now. It's normal. Um, you don't want to buy the less sexy sounding car, which is really reliable and has a low running cost, but looks dull and doesn't have many bells and whistles. It's much nicer to get the one with all the whizzy stuff in but it turns out it costs a ton to maintain, uh, et cetera. But that's a, that's a tomorrow problem. And we all suffer from this. It's that's a tomorrow problem. But MS is a tomorrow problem. And it's a tomorrow problem that's not going to go away. It's going to bite you in the backside tomorrow. And by that, I mean in 20 years' time, in 30 years' time. I've had MS for 31 years, and I've had a relatively light touch, but my eyes, my walking now, my right leg, all this kind of stuff. I mean, frankly, if 
it had been available and I had actually known about it and I listened to somebody like me or many other people I know, I would have had HSCT 20 years ago. I would have taken the risk then. It was much, much higher. The risk then, it was about 1% uh, of dying. But 99% chance that it was going to have a hell of an impact on my future Dominic. And that's the thing you need to think about is something may sound super groovy and wonderful. There's a really, really good website for choosing a DMT, which is not one of the traditional ones. It's been put together by some experts in the field in um, Holland, Belgium, uh, London. It's called clinicspeak.com slash DMT. So I'll put that up and I'll put it in the description. But it's clinicspeak.com slash DMT. And that's really cool for changing, uh, uh, not for changing, it's really cool for getting an unbiased view of all the different drugs. It compares them all. Um, it's done with a much more, should we say, modern outlook and with the modern knowledge. Anyway, hyperbolic discounting. Don't fall victim to it. We all fall victim to it. Who hasn't stuck the extra five quid or even two pounds in their trolley to get free shipping that you didn't really need? And uh, so don't just knee jerk to the best on paper, should we say, sounding or, or least the one that's least likely to do you harm, if that makes sense, or make you inconvenient in your life or things. I mean, alamtuzumab, monthly blood test for five years, I'll take that. I took alamtuzumab knowing full well that's going to be, I can't think of the polite way, a pain in the arse. But that's the cost of taking the most effective medicine bar HSCT out there. So hyperbolic discounting don't fall into the trap of thinking well I'll, I'll get the easy ride now and maybe i'll change later because the problem with ms is any damage that happens it's pretty much there so you can't put the genie back in the bottle so think about that i said i'd tell you some ways to do it it's time so you need to put some time into the conversation uh, you need to request that the doctors and or nurses help you make the decision. Some people go, here's four leaflets and you decide, which is wrong because I can't think of any cancer patient that gets this massive choice of their drugs, uh, for example, but that's treated acutely. Um, so say to your doctors and nurses, you want to talk about 20 year on you. So when I was 30, I'm 54 now, uh, you know, when I was 34, I wasn't thinking about 54, frankly, but you need to. It's really dull, but you've got to. You need to stop yourself, go away and write down your priorities and say what's most important. And that's where that clinic speak slash DMT website's good. It asks you about all your future plans. It's future you that you're medicating for. You may be newly diagnosed, but it's future you that you're medicating for make them have that conversation. If they won't have the conversation, if they don't like it or they're not comfortable, it's time to investigate speaking to different people. Uh, you need to really have a think about what you want to achieve in the long term, what you're willing to put up with. Don't just go for the easy option because if you're new to MS and you're new to hospitals, you're new to drugs and why on earth wouldn't you just think, well, that looks frightening. If you look at the data sheet for alamtuzumab versus the data sheet for beta interferon. But you need to stop, think about the future for you. Make them talk about future you. They're not the ones that are going to suffer in 20 years. It's you. So make sure that they are looking at you through that lens. What goals do you want to achieve? Ask yourself, have they ever asked you what you want to achieve in 20 years time? It's probably a good indication of where their mind's at. So with that, I'm just going to wrap up because otherwise I'm just going to repeat myself. Have a great weekend if you're watching this on Friday and I will see you soon. All right. Cheers. Bye-bye.